Welcome to the Cart Olympics. Jenga walk for students. Each student receives four Jenga tiles. Each tile is placed on the board vertically at its narrowest end. All team members must be holding the board as they walk from the starting line to the finish line without having any tiles fall. If a tile falls, the team must stop and reset any fallen piece. Clean sweep. Three students per team. One sweeper, one runner, one catcher. Sweeper sits in the chair holding a broom. Catcher stands behind the tape line, positioned six feet behind the chair of the sweeper. The runner places one of the three soft objects at the end of the broom. The sweeper then flings the object off the broom over their shoulder. The catcher attempts to catch the object using only a bucket. Any object not caught by the catcher must be retrieved by the runner and brought back to the sweeper. Yeah, you gotta grab it, you gotta grab it. Three player cornhole. Three students per team. Each team gets one beanbag. Students throw beanbag from behind the tape line set 10 feet. Team members take turns throwing and retrieving the beanbag one at a time until they score 10 points. Four points for getting the beanbag in the hole. Two points for getting the beanbag anywhere on the board. Ski Challenge Three students will use skis made of two 2x6 two planks of wood. Each team of athletes will move the skis from one side of the course to the other. Feet must remain on the skis, but ropes are provided for the hands which are used to lift and move the skis. Threading the hula hoop. Six students. Students stand in a line holding hands. The first athlete in the line begins with a hula hoop in their hand. The object is to pass the hula hoop through all students without breaking the hand's chain. If a contestant unlocks hands during the event, the hula hoop must start over at the beginning. Puppet Puzzler. Two students per team. One student is blindfolded and has a yardstick or PVC pipe velcroed to each arm. In front of a blindfolded student is an A-frame board with a magnetic puzzle. The second student stands behind the first student and uses the yardsticks to guide and direct the arms of the blindfolded student to solve the magnetic puzzle. You may speak with your teammate. 